Imagine the delicate patterns of leaves swaying gently in the wind. The leaves, like pieces of nature's lace, flutter rhythmically, creating their own peaceful symphony. Off the distance, a stream murmurs, its soothing bubbling adding another layer to this tranquil soundscape. Even the air here seems to breathe calmness. Every breath you take fills you with serenity. Exhale, rids you of worries and stress. You discover a cozy corner, a sanctuary in this haven of tranquility. Here you wrap yourself in comfort, feeling warmth seep into your soul. This is a special journey of self-care, a quest for peace in a world that often forgets to pause. It's a journey resonating deeply with introverts, value these moments of solace. Our bodies, minds and spirits yearn for these instances of tranquility, as vital as the very air we breathe. In this loud, fast-paced world, it's crucial to carve out moments of serenity, to nourish not just our bodies, but also our minds and spirits. Begin with journaling. This practice, deeply personal, profound, involves the act of recording one's thoughts and emotions onto paper. It's not about the art of writing, but introspection, an exercise that nurtures the introvert's introspective side. It's a voyage across the expanse of their minds, a silent dialogue that provides them with clarity amid the storm of their thoughts. The art of journaling is akin to painting, where the canvas is the paper and words are the colors, shaping one's reality, recording their history. It's a sanctuary, a haven for introverts to safely explore their innermost depths. It's a quiet conversation with oneself, a way to shape and understand the cloud of thoughts that often whirl within an introvert's mind. Then there is the practice of meditation. This practice, often overlooked, holds immense potential for introverts. Visualize this, a tranquil nook in your living area, absent of noise and distractions. There exists a soft, inviting cushion, perfectly positioned to support you. You sit, drawing in a deep breath, and exhale slowly, surrendering your worries to the air. The world outside continues its bustle, but here, in this corner, time seems to stand still. Your thoughts begin to drift, carried away on the waves of your steady breaths. The silence is profound, like a soft blanket wrapping you in a comforting embrace. It's here, in soothing silence, that introverts find their anchor, their grounding point in the overwhelmingly noisy world. This moment of silence allows introverts to anchor themselves in the present, to find calm amidst the storm. Meditation is a balm for the soul, a way to recharge and reconnect with one's inner self. Next, consider the gentle art of yoga. This centuries-old discipline from the East combines controlled breathing with purposeful movement, crafting a serene harmony that sweeps over you like a calming wave. Seen as a form of moving meditation, yoga weaves the power of breath with deliberate motion, forming an intricate dance that encapsulates composure and silent empowerment. Yoga, a symbol of unity, engenders a peaceful alignment of the physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of oneself. This practice doesn't demand noise or social interaction, but cherishes quiet introspection, making it an ideal restorative exercise for introverts. For introverts, yoga is a quiet symphony, a way to harmonize the mind, body, and spirit. And finally, embrace the healing power of nature. Forest bathing, a practice which holds roots in Japanese culture, is an experience that invites us to immerse ourselves fully into the natural world. This isn't about physical bathing, but more about bathing your senses in the forest's calming ambience. This practice, steeped in tranquility, encourages you to use all your senses, to touch the rough bark, to smell the fresh pine, to hear the rustling leaves, and to see the dappled sunlight. Studies have indicated that this immersive experience in nature significantly reduces stress hormones and enhances feelings of well-being and contentment. It's particularly beneficial for introverts, as the woodland offers a refuge, a peaceful sanctuary away from the bustling world. It's a place where they can rejuvenate their spirits and reconnect with the world at their pace. To summarize, self-care for introverts might involve journaling to process thoughts, meditating to find inner peace, and practicing yoga to relieve tension. Journaling is a powerful tool for introverts, allowing them to explore their internal world, work through complex emotions, and gain greater self-awareness. Meditation, on the other hand, 
is about finding peace and tranquility within oneself. It's a practice that promotes mindfulness, reducing stress, and promoting overall well-being. Yoga is a form of exercise that combines flexibility, strength, and mindful breathing. It helps to relieve physical tension and promote mental calmness. Spending time in nature is another beneficial practice. It's a place where introverts can reconnect with their origins, find tranquility, and rejuvenate their spirit. Each of these practices offers a unique path to well-being, a way for introverts to honor their need for quiet and solitude. Thank you for joining this journey of self-care. We are deeply grateful for your presence today. Self-care is not just about bubble baths and face masks. It is about self-respect, self-love, and self-improvement. It's about giving yourself permission to pause, to breathe, to relax. Remember, your introverted nature is not a weakness, but a strength. It gives you the ability to think, to reflect, to understand. It gives you the capacity to be patient, to be thoughtful, to be insightful. This strength allows you to connect with yourself on a deeper level, enabling you to nurture your mind, body, and spirit. It's about taking the time to understand your needs, your desires, your dreams, and to honor them. Introverts have a unique ability joy in solitude. It's not about being antisocial, but about finding peace, comfort, and strength in your own company. Embrace this quiet, this solitude. Find joy in your own thoughts, in your own dreams, in your own company. And remember, self-care is not selfish. It's necessary, it's vital, it's a priority. So most importantly, ensure that you always take good care of yourself. Nurture yourself, love yourself, respect yourself. Until next time, embrace the quiet, find joy in solitude, and most importantly, take good care of yourself. As we continue this journey of self-discovery and self-care, let's explore seven ways introverts often practice self-care. One, journaling, a quiet conversation with oneself. Two, meditation, a way to cultivate mindfulness. Three, yoga, harmonizes the mind, body, and spirit. Four, forest bathing, a sanctuary to rejuvenate in nature. Five, reading, journey into different worlds at home. Six, solo travel, fosters self-discovery and independence. Seven, art, a creative outlet to express inner thoughts. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. Find what works best and make it a part of your routine. Until next time, embrace your quiet strengths and continue to take good care of yourself.